No balls in my bar. What does that mean? Whoa. That's way heavier than I thought it was going to be. There's balls and, in my bar. And really loud. There's balls in my bar. And I, sex and relationships is cat yeah. and cat. Mm. And I have to say, it's so funny when we do, um, when we do like interviews. Yeah. And people are like, okay, you know, my kids are a little bit younger than yours. And um, I'm just curious, like how you keep this like how you guys keep the spark alive and like do it while like, you're younger babe because when they're older they're in your more drunk more than when i was thinking that's so true because my neighbor next door has young kids yeah and she, we were texting and she's like oh i just said good night to their nanny and it was seven o'clock because the kids had gone to bed and i was like oh my like it was a different if it, were, it was a different world like we had, we had sleep tra- train our children, so they slept to seven to seven. At six fifty nine, we were walking out the door, and we did not see them. I know until seven in the morning. I know. I don't even think though at that time you could appreciate it. No, appreciate it right now. If we were free from seven o'clock on, I know. And they had nothing. They had nothing at nighttime. Mm -mm. Like there was no, the only downfall was that Mm. in hockey, they had to wake up and play at seven. Mm. But we didn't have to do that. But they had to wake up. That was the dad job. That was the one thing in the morning that Mm. Saturday mornings felt like just so abrupt because you had to wake up and go, 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 go Mm -hmm. very early. But now. I mean, I still have to get them out now on Sunday mornings. I didn't have to today. But like I leave at like. Well, it's not Sunday. I like that. You said I do have to get them out on Sunday morning, but I didn't have to today. Not this week. Um, but usually I do. So it still feels like I'm waking everybody up because on the weekend they want to sleep in. Yeah. But um, yeah, I just think it's funny when, when people interview us and ask us like as if we were out there claiming to be the experts in the bouge room. I guess they just look and they're like, everything looks great for you guys. Like whatever you're of doing. Course let us you're know. Of course uh, you're having. Of course I I think that no one's no one's a sex fiend in the bedroom if you have children. I think people make time. I think it happens. I, I think everyone's lying. I really do think everyone's the people who are like, oh, yeah, yeah, they probably like it, but they probably don't do it as often as they're saying because I'm sorry, the schedules, the sicknesses, the 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 life, the it's just, it does not I just think end. that some people, like specifically, I they have do know night. from facts that... You know how some people need to work out? Like you? It makes... No, no. You don't need to. You do it. I have to. Let's say the people who like, you know, have to go for a run because they have such anxiety. Those are men. No, but th- I think there's some people in the relationship that they have to do it right. where they feel the relationship. Well, I'm just saying it doesn't It doesn't always work out that way. No. Because of life. It doesn't always work out that way because I'm telling you, you all know this and if you don't know this yet, well, now you know, your petunia mm-hmm. is a garden. Mm-hmm. Your mind mm. is the water. Mm. If your mind is just full of dirt, there's no water. Yeah, and that's not the same for men. You can't water your petunia if your if your if your mind is full of dirt. And dirt is life. And if your life is a lot, there's not much water left because the dirt sucks it all up. So I you was, have to fertilize your petunia, but you can't. I don't like to watch things twice. You know, people are like, oh, I'm watching that again. Yeah. I, I have no interest in watching things twice. Yeah. Unless it's like a clip from like a, like a comedy, like Seinfeld or yeah. I don't. Oh, you're not going to go twice. watch. You're not going to watch Friends again or Sex in the City again. Yeah. Or yeah. any of the, you know, I like I, I'm envious of those people because they because they, they love the show and they get to watch it again. That's kids. Kids can do that. Yeah. Kids but a lot of adults that. do that now with yeah. series. Yeah. Like I really oh, like Cheers. I fucking hate Cheers. Cheers. My husband has it on because he has every channel in the sun. And then there's like a Cheers channel and he has it on. I'm like, because it probably brings him back like nostalgia. I just, he likes it. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> but still. I hate the show. I hate it. I used to watch it as a kid, yeah? I know. Oh. I hate it. Mm. I, I think it's so weird that I watch adults in a bar when I was a kid. I know. No, I don't. I don't. I, don't, I, I hear it. And, I'm and like, Ty Dancing was such a stud. I, I just don't even. I, I'm like, I don't like the lighting. Mm, I know. I don't like the way the bar looks. They never go outside. I don't like mm-hmm. that. Did they smoke inside? I don't remember. I, don't, I feel I, like they must have. So I'm like, you have to change this. Yeah. Sorry. So I digress. I, uh, so, but I have really hit the bottom of the barrel on Netflix for crime. I realized after we were talking about my hobby that like I actually have an actual like addiction. Yeah. Like I probably, I bet if I cut it, I could walk away. But it's pretty intense. It's like I need a little bit every day. It's like water. Um, so You're like a soap opera. You know the people who oh, had to yeah. watch your soap opera? Yeah. But yours is crime. Crime. So 
then I go over to like the different channels like Prime and like all of that and I see that they have the, all their their all their own crime and murder. I'm like, oh, so now you're oh going to. but I don't get those channels upstairs, which is probably good because I don't watch that stuff when like around with the family, you know, and everyone's sitting there. So anyways, I went, this is about sex, by the way. So I was like last night, I was like, hey, I just, I wanted to fall asleep. Just like, like, Mark, I'm going to try strangling you. It's a new, it's a new, it's a new fetish for my crime. I'm gonna be a murderer. Just lie there and pretend. Yeah. Don't move, okay? There's and nothing I'll, left on the TV, so I'm gonna have to act out the crime. I, mean, I want to see how you would re- react if mm. I walked in to try to kill you. Would it turn you on? Because it would turn me on. Yeah. But just so you know, crime does not turn me on. I'm just saying. I know. I'm just you, letting you, you know. I'm just say, putting it out there. You did say that if someone broke in, you wouldn't be if they were good looking. You wouldn't be opposed oh, yeah. to yeah, 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 turning the square from being like, hey, no, that's hop so in. bad. That's a that's horrible thing to weird. say. Weird. I know. Um. So I did decide to go back and watch something because I wasn't sure if I'd watched it, a whole bunch of others like um, docs on it, but not this exact one. So I got into it and then I watched the whole thing. And it was that one, you know, like um, your neighbor next door is that 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 young fit guy yeah. who killed his wife and kids, With the blonde. Uh, she has brown hair. He has grayish hair. Patterson. Patterson. No, no, no. Um. Oh, I know. I watched it on the planes. Yeah. Watts. Chris Watts. I watched that. So, one. um, she is. He t- had a girlfriend. Yes, but she's texting with her friend that um. Sex. She, she went to go. No, not sex. Yes. No, she wanted t- to have sex with him. Yes. And he wouldn't have so sex with her. She goes away for like a month, and he comes there and. It's been five weeks and he doesn't want to touch her. I, and she's like horny. Yeah. And she wants to, she's like, we have never. And pregnant and horny. We have never. Although we will, let's t- talk a little bit about that for a second. But she's like, he's never turned me down. He's never not wanted it. Yeah. And s- the signal for them is if she has a nighttime shower, mm. it means sex. Mm-hmm. And it works every time. Yeah. She has never been this long without sex. Yes. And she's horny. Horny. Okay. I wonder if any part of her, this is bad, and this isn't the way the world should be and women shouldn't feel this way, mm-hmm. that because he was so hard to get, she wanted it more. Did it make her more horny that... I think you proved your point earlier that some people, it means they're still married. They like each other. Right. I think we've been we've been taught that. Right. I, I think it's a big, huge yeah, disservice. Yeah, I don't... Um, Oprah really, that's where Oprah steered us wrong. With Dr. Uh, the one whose son died of... Yeah, I do think that that is... I think that that is an unfortunate because I think a lot of people heard that and it gave men, it gave men uh, a barometer mm-hmm. to be like, so if you don't want me, then you... you It kind of made people think that they then they must want it, just mm-hmm. not with them. Mm-hmm. Rather than it being the conversation of life because you're you're only happy if you're having sex. And I was like... Can that we is, go back and ask Oprah what she thinks now? And could she clear that up for everyone? Yeah, and I think, unfortunately, listen, it is... it it, it is, I, have, I have so many thoughts on it. We've, we've, like, touched it before. But I do think that there should be someone... I know we're having conversations coming out now, but it's like only her clip would make it everywhere because mm-hmm. there wasn't so much social media. So how many millions of people watched her because there was nothing else to watch? Yes, but I also think that every time we've had, like, experts, sex experts... I don't think people fun. listen. They like that, they like that advice. No, I don't think that they're usually saying the opposite. I don't think so, but I'm thinking you have to look at the full picture. They are do. You, are, you, are you providing a relationship where they want mm-hmm. to have sex? You can't just For sure. demand sex and For think... Sure. You can't just be like, let's have sex. And you're like, oh, sorry, you're just going to walk in and demand sex? No, yeah. I don't know that for a fact, but I feel like she, that was part of their relationship and when it changed, yes. that is a sign when people have something and then all of a sudden it stops. It changes and she knew right away. It's not like he was going through menopause. No, right. Or it's not like they hadn't had other kids. Yeah. It wasn't like and she was... And she knew how horny of a person he was. She knew right away. She was like, something's up. <sighs> that one really blew my mind. That one really... I can't believe it took you that long to watch. It wasn't my first time. <laughs> oh, I watched I it on the plane, remember? Yeah, I've watched... With you. Like, because I remember what happened... I was watching his interviews and stuff. And then there's been like 48 hours, 60 yeah. minutes. There's been so many on it. And I thought maybe I hadn't seen the Netflix. But once I was in, I just needed to know. And just I, so you just, guys know, his neighbor is the one who called the police and said he is acting weird. And I have video footage of him. Not exactly how it happened. But they watched it with him. When they watched it, he immediately said, that's not how he acts. And the cop's like, well, he's, you know, his, his wife's yeah. things. He is fidgeting. He normally doesn't talk yeah. much. He does not move things in and out of the garage. He knew that man knew immediately. Immediately. And that was kind of 
That was within moments of her going missing that he just called it. I know. He knew the instinct. He was like, that guy's guilty. I know. And I mean, the murderer is still beside you and you're calling in them. Anyways, it's about sex and I have submissions. We could do a whole thing on crime because, you know, that is a, a whole nother. I have, a, I have an obsession with the only crime I watch and then we'll go to sex is the ones where the husbands murder their wives. Mm. Which seemingly happy. By the way. What? They have the stats at the end is like, you know, the majority of the time, uh, like if a, if a woman is murdered, it's usually her husband. Yeah. And um, if children are murdered by their parents, it's most often the man. So I, yeah, I like to, I psychologically, I can't, I can't grasp how you become a murderer. So I like to watch it to try to grasp in my brain how you have this family and you're able, like the ones you would naturally want to protect naturally could kill and by the way he that chris watts he was one of the most like when you looked back and you saw his parents yeah. and how he told he he admitted to his dad yeah it was the most unexpected there didn't seem to be rage there was not rage he didn't have an anger problem she was the one in charge in the relationship she was the boss in the relationship yeah. he didn't have a history of any abuse that we're aware of that he, yet he was able to murder did with they, his bare hands did they um i wonder where they stood with him now who the parents because he took their grandchildren too you know the mom said at the end she's like i know this is like so hard to imagine but like we still love you Obviously, I was just curious but if they're the like you killed dad your grand. Reacted was so um, when he told he admitted to his dad he wanted to tell his dad before he told anyone else. His dad was so um, affectionate and uh, like kind towards his son. He was rubbing his back and he just let him talk. Like it was kind of like his dad was the mom, right? The way how he told his dad, his dad was just like. Okay. unexpected considering you would assume there would be a lot of toxic toxic masculinity yes as far as i can see this guy didn't have a lot of toxic masculinity sex confessions sex conversations what's going on in your bedroom what's going on in your bedroom share your stories always with us guys we love this stuff. i am just a typical working mom that runs my own business but back in the day before kids, my husband and I had quite a lot of fun together while we were dating. We used to get off on having sex in the wildest public places. One early evening, he had forgotten something at his office, so we quickly ran inside before heading out. We ended up having the wildest and most passionate sex on the boardroom table only to realize afterwards that there were cameras all over the boardroom. And I kind of think of that too because there are cameras, but I don't know if they're, watch they're only live when you're on the Zoom call or whatever you're doing, but who knows. Another time we ended up just pulling into a parking lot one afternoon that had an exceptional view overlooking a city and mountains in the backdrop. We ended up getting pretty hot and heavy in our car, but did not think much of it given we were pretty secluded in the parking lot. Little did we know we were actually facing a walking trail, and before we knew it, there was a person after person walking by in front of our car and stopping to look in. One young gentleman even went in far as to cheer us on and whip his phone out. That's funny. They're fun. That boardroom does sound hot, I have to say. Are they? Really? I would say like um, if I were to like, like I, this never happened to me, but if I were to have oh, a she hot. She has more. Oh, God, keep going. We were staying on a beautiful resort on Vancouver Island. We had our children. They were young, three, four, and five. That's that's a lot of children. Um we set up the baby monitor and went for a walk on the grounds. Just the two of us, we stumbled upon this beautiful lookout. And while well, we fell into our old pre-kid habit and ended up having some pretty steamy sex right there at the lookout. Fast forward years later, we attended a wedding for a relative at the same resort. And they exchanged our vows in the exact same spot where we had our wild night. She's fun. I know. She's really fun. I know. I love that for her. I know. I know. So un-Canadian. On I'm, Vancouver Island, letting it, letting the letting the bush fly out in the wild. I would say like, okay, so the whole boardroom thing is like. I she wants to talk about the boardroom. Yeah. Back I, to the boardroom. I never had a hot boss. Well, Natalie, I think we can digest this quite, quite tangibly. But why? Because if you had yeah. someone yeah. with a large boardroom yeah. and a big office, yeah. that would be very attractive to you. Yeah. Because you like offices. And you're going to have sex in the boardroom of maybe something that someone owned. You would be. I know, but I just can't imagine. You wouldn't want to go if, would you want to go if it was like 
your kid's school. With the teacher? To the board. No. What? With your husband. Oh, no, no. No, this isn't my husband. Uh, <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'm saying I wish that I had that fantasy. Like, I wish I had one time, like, a really hot boss. Like, I've never worked with anybody that after two seconds of talking to them. You're unattracted to them. Have you ever worked with someone? Let me, I'm, let's think back. Have you ever worked with someone, whether it's at a bar, a restaurant, an or office? Are they my superior? They could be anything. Like, they could be my coworker. Coworker, superior, valerier. I had one. That so, I was kind of attracted to, but it, actually, but he asked me out and I was like, no. So at one of my jobs, and this is so illegal, one of my, and it's not my story, like it's not me, but one of my jobs, um, the principal, okay, the principal was married, yes. but was having affairs and I believe the had, teachers? Uh-huh, had an affair with a teacher and had to move schools because they found out about the affair and he was still married. Well, one day we show up at work and... And the door is like basically the whole glass front is like kicked in. Like the whole front is vandalized. And it was a lover's quarrel between him and I believe the, the, he slept with many teachers. He had many affairs and they had to keep moving him schools. Can you tell me what he looked like? No. After that conversation we just had? No. Wait, you can't tell me? No. Sorry, can you give a generic, was he ugly? He was charming. Ooh. Very charming. Was he fit? Yeah, he would be fired in this day and age, the way he was overly flirtatious with everybody. Like, I think I was warned when I stepped into school. Like, watch out. Because this was, I was a student in social work school, so I was in my early 20s, Mm -hmm. and it was sort of like the behavior that people got away with was much different than now, and... I believe he just kept getting promoted. So, have you ever been attracted to anyone you worked with? Um, and there was many of those situations, by the way. He used to oh, yeah. fly off the handle. He would. I think there was lots of affairs he had that would show up. Anyways, um, well, I'm trying to think. Mm-hmm. No, no. Yeah. There was one guy at a group home that I liked that was like a like another worker but that was a phase in my life I know that was like that wasn't like did you guys ever no 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 especially not in that field no you're not working with someone in a group home when you're in taking care of at-risk adolescents no I'm sure it happens all the time I was smart enough I think there was lots of love quarrels but I believe I was like I am not this is a stop this is not I'm not I'm not um you know the thing with those that also, the thing with working in a group home is the hours, the shifts mm-hmm. are sometimes overnight. Mm-hmm. So the kids are technically asleep. Like you have to be there. Mm-hmm. You're you're awake. You're on shift. You're mm-hmm. not sleeping. But from 11 to 7, remember that? 11 mm-hmm. to 7, 7 to 11. Mm-hmm. Was that the only shift? 7 to 11. Seven. Maybe it was 7 to 3, 3 to 11, 11 to 7. Mm-hmm. Those were the three shifts. Mm-hmm. So the 11 to 7, you kind of picked who you wanted to go with that, like on your shift because you're there all night together, wide awake in the middle of the night with no, with, with no, no one awake. It's just the two of you. And you're just kind of like there. So lots could happen, I'm assuming. Because it is sort of like bartending. You guys know when, if you've been a bartender, the hookups in the bartending slash that world is wild. When you worked at a bar, was there, um, like, did you know of things going on with like bartenders, servers, kitchen staff, anything? Except them, the old, because we worked in like a fancy place. So the older, mm. like they were um, lifer servers. Mm. They were adult servers. They had relations. Yeah. Lots of relations going on. I love sitting back and watching other people's relations at a bar. Because you know, like the new server comes in and then. I mean, the- and the amount of people people slept with the, like the actual mm, customers too mm-hmm. i loved watching that lot i was customer just like interaction. i was just like a hostess and i would just sit there and watch everybody come in and out and i would just and i would like i was there for a long time compared to the people that would come and go what about the two seatings the wife and the girlfriend lots of those oh, same people. same night the ball same night the ball wife is first girlfriend second same restaurant that's same a, night that's a lot of audacity to do that and think that no one's gonna say anything and um, well also the restaurant just kept new they just kept under wraps because they were reg- regular so they knew that they kind of had like a safe yeah. place they were like oh you were here again yeah because also they're like hey you give me great they, tips and to they keep get my mouth shut. and they get like a uh, like a quiet table i don't know I, I i did have i did i always wish that there was like a hot guy at work and sometimes i would like try and like 
beca- like try and get attracted yeah. to someone because like some of the girls would be like, oh, he's so cute. And, and like they like, flirt mm. with him. I'm like, I want to think he's cute, but no, like a whole office of men. I think there was only like, three women in one of the offices I work with and not one, not one. Not one. And they were rich. How rich? Really rich. No, nah, I, I don't think, I think, I think you, I think you're more, um, I think you're less, um, I think you're more softy than, than you pretend to be. I mean, old white men in suits. It's just kind of not going to happen for me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Bodies. Bad bodies. Um, Bad bodies. That is such a turn off. Oh, it's so sad though. I mean, I'm not actually sad for them. That was uh, like I, a sorry. fake sad. But I feel bad for... I don't mean bad bodies as a turn off. White men in suits who are... Have bad bodies. No, who are like... Who think they're hot shit because they're a, they're, they're in a suit? You know what I mean. And underneath there, you know, it's I don't gross. like that. I like personality. I do. I like personality. You better have a good personality, or I don't like you. Uh, I don't really care about your personality I as know. much. Oh, but you're just sleeping with these people. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about this one. Anyway, she was a good time. I liked her. She she was a great time. People should ask her how do you keep the spark alive. You have sex in public. Can you get arrested for that? I think you can. I would just, the cameras now, the cameras now, the cameras now. As a mom and the cameras now, can you imagine? There's my mom. Because, you know, there was public sex at my wedding. You know this. I wish I was there for that. Yeah, on the, like, public sex. I can't believe, like, I can't believe those My two. wedding was wild. Full public sex. You had lots of hookups. And in front of, oh, lots of hookups. I only heard about one. Tell me well, more. Well, we were very young. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. And everyone wasn't, like, there was one who's we know we still know who you know now too one married couple with a baby and they brought the baby and i was like no maybe they didn't she was pregnant she was pregnant she was pregnant with the baby so she was or she had the baby with her i can't remember i mean i did not talk to them i love him now but oh my no there was no i was so who else hooked up i know uh, the story. well i can't tell you all th- so there was well, my mom let me tell you, my mother, talk about it. Do we take a break already? Yes. My mom. Yes. I look over. Yes. This naughty little girl. Mom, I love you. But she has, take, she's taking all the shirts off of all of Mark's friends. All of her, literally unpeeling their shirts. Has like a tie, I'm pretty sure around her head. Is dancing like, she had the time of Aww. her life with a whole bunch of hockey players with their shirts off and um I just remember it being like everyone came back to my house because there was a lot of single people either I walked in someone was having sex in, in my guest bedroom they were naked in my guest bedroom I just remember walking and being like what the hell I guess that's what happens when you get married in your 20s yeah everyone's still single my You're one e- of my bridesmaids hooked up with the Photographer. They just shit goes off the rails. Maybe not for all of your family, but like shit was off the rails. And I told you my wedding continued for three days. It mm-hmm. didn't stop. It was it was a party for from Wednesday to Sunday. We had a party from Wednesday. Mm-hmm. It kicked off and oh, I think people hooked up with the fucking um not retirement party. What is it called? A rehearsal dinner. Yeah. Because we, we went we went clubbing and we got table service. Yeah. Me. Mm-hmm. Table service. I think on I turn the, back time. On the wedding, on the, my wedding rehearsal dinner. We had gone, I think we cleared. But you did it on a Thursday, so by Saturday when, you were good, right? Oh, you did it on Wednesday. And got married Friday. Oh, got married on Friday. We cleared more wine out of that restaurant than That's, I think they did in like three months of serving. exactly what um, the people said to uh, us. That you guys did the same thing. That more alcohol and like couldn't even keep up keep up with the food like the appetizers they wanted they're, they're like they people are animals and then the drinks they've never had so much i don't know what so. we were doing back then but, but then I'm, again maybe everyone else was lame a oh, quiet quiet <laughs> like it's a rehearsal dinner it's just gonna be a quiet little oh no it was outraged i just remember people were making out and on the dance floor it was crazy and then oh, my, so everyone looked i didn't even, i don't even know if i went back with my husband in the car or i think i did it was there was blow up doll at my wedding and mm-hmm. it was just and then sex and I don't even know how they recovered from that and did he just have a condom in his pocket ready to go oh they did not use protection for sure they did for sure they did not I'm gonna have to follow up on you that will one. I bet you no way well, let me just pull out a condom I know but then what she could be pregnant she was on the pill I don't think so for sure or he pulled out <laughs> that would have been so fun if she got pregnant that no why didn't those two ever date 
I don't know. He was young. We were young. Everyone was young. <laughs> you were married? Yeah, I was different. She could have married him. Maybe. I don't see that. No, me neither. But it would have been great. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Oh, I have another man. one. Hold on. Shit, that was a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have no regrets on my wedding, by the way. If you're like, that is so inappropriate. Not, I don't feel anything inappropriate about it. You don't know me if you think that was inappropriate. That was some of, that was a core memory. And I talked to someone recently who's getting married. I said, because their, their parents are inviting a whole bunch of people. I was like, don't talk to them. Don't talk to those people. If you don't know them, don't talk to them. Your parents can talk to them. Go have fun. Don't spend your time. Don't spend one minute talking to people you don't know. No, I specifically, they were like, oh, and then, you know, the church was like, and then you'll have like um, a receiving line. I go, oh, no, no. Oh, didn't do that either. People kept trying to come and say hi to me. I was like, well, I invited you for a party. Like, I'm not here to talk to you. No. You're a grown up. No, I don't want to. I, I, congratulations. I don't care what okay. you say. I okay. care. I also, I'm just saying that receiving line at funerals. That is a pet peeve of mine. Receiving lines, period. Receiving lines Who? are wants to do it and you know what nobody and by the time they get to the last person Mm -hmm. it's like are you done yet nobody wants why do they do that happy or sad happy or sad no one wants a receiving line and people say like they want to pay their respects let's say in a negative like sorry in a a sad way or in a in a wedding way but if you really want to you're here you're there Right, you're there, and also if you want to write, write a note. But we cannot be diff- We cannot be far off on this. We cannot be. We cannot be the ones that think that that's so ridiculous. Who started a receiving line? Who started that? Because you can imagine if you're Italian and you're at a wedding or a funeral, because Italians have big everything. That's the only thing I know. I can't know anybody else because I just know the Italian way. Um, the receiving line uh, would be so long, like it would be. Do you stand there for three hours? Guests don't want to do it. The people don't want to do it. Nobody wants to do it. But there's like... And this, there's like 15 of them. Uncle Joe, yep. Uncle Betty. And there's like this... It's like traditionally you need... Who I'm going to look this said? up. Um, and you know what? And and your 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 wedding day is... You know, it should be like... Um, like a, it should really... You should leave everybody and just let the two of them go have fun. Mm. Like just don't... Don't involve the bride and groom because mm. often you, you don't even see them together because mm. groom's talking to people, the bride's talking to people. Let Just, them enjoy their night yeah, and, and have free up. food and drink. And and they should grind on the dance floor and it should be like a pre to sex, you know? You, you know what? One thing I do think is that, um, you know, you and I, anybody at any time could die. Okay. <laughs> She loves. You could die tomorrow. You love death, but it's true. I'm just. It's but facts. you do love death. Facts. I just. I would. I would. I, I. I wish that people saw it for what it was a little bit. A little bit more. I'm sure that people. Other people would be like. I wish she saw it for what it really was. I, don't, I think. I think that you're allowed your way, and other people are allowed to not want to think about it. There's I, no right way or wrong. I. I, I think that's wrong. <laughs> I think it's wrong. Someone's belief isn't wrong. It's no right or wrong. Um, uh, there are beliefs that are wrong. But someone's death is not wrong. How they want to see it. Someone's death. But I think that if you're. uh, You can come to the fact of it and be like, yeah, everyone's going to die. But you like to talk about it a lot more than most. Okay. So I think that, you know, I know that you've said a few things about like how you want. Like if you were to die tomorrow, Catherine. Yeah. Like your husband would want to do something. Not a receiving line. You die tomorrow? He's not doing a receiving line. Not up. Who knows fucking, what he's going to do? We better a, get this in writing. No, he knows. I know. My whole family knows. What do they know? Uh, they know I want strippers. They know I want confetti. They know okay, I want You, you should write this down. They know it. I, I, I'll call my mom right now. She knows. I can't. But my mom knows. It's going to be your husband who's going to have to plan a lot of it. And I here's don't think. Do you want to be cremated? I don't, I'm dead. That You need to let people know I that. Don't, I, that's my belief. I don't need to. I don't care. Do you want open casket? I don't know. I, I don't want a casket. Sit me up in a chair. Is that what you want? <laughs> uh, we have to put this out there. I, I'm good. I'm my family. What do you want? I kind of want nothing. Well, that's. I'm my, not joking. So you're worse than me because that they're, they're definitely going to do something. Well, I've got that's, that's why I'm going to put it. I, that's why I need to get it writing. I'd like I was sunset bonfire strippers confetti. I, I th- first I thought a banquet hall because then I thought <laughs> <laughs> a banquet hall. <laughs> Well, it's not like a banquet hall because it's sort of like our stage. They, like recreate, you know? I think we could do a little better. You know, I know, I know. I was just okay. thinking, you know, like I was like. A banquet bit, hall is bad lighting, in, bad sound. Yeah, yeah. Then I thought, what? then I was like, so maybe it's got to be outside. So you die tomorrow. Yeah. And I have to go find <laughs> strippers. Yes. Yeah. Catherine. Dancers. It's celebratory. Celebrate it. Have fucking fun. 
absolutely. Oh, it is fun. Laugh. How soon after you die? Whenever you want. I don't. Because I'm saying if you want to do anything. I want. I. uh, You need to wait a year. Get your tears out of the way. I don't want to be. You weren't going to cry before. Now you're crying. I'm not. Wasn't me crying. So people are crying for me. I'm back to me. Oh, shit. Jesus. You know, people are going to be sad for a bit. I don't want to do any celebration while you're still sad. Give it a year. I would be fine to do it for you right away and not cry. I'd be okay. I know you might not cry. I have children and a mother I, and a husband. I'll take care of them. No, I'm not. Don't do it right away. Just okay. Wait a bit. This is so unfair to this everyone. Is, this was sex, and I like that it turned to death. But I guess they are quite close together. You know what you should put as one of your things? What that I'm allowed to haul past the night of your celebration? No problem. Thanks. I will get. What else do you want? I'll put it in my wishes. Give me all you want. Give me whatever you want. Hall pass. What else? Like that's your final wish for you. For me. Yeah. Natalie gets, you can have, you know what? You can get one a year. No, one a month. She gets a hall pass once a month. I'm going to have to get out there. I know. And meet some people. Well, just, or you know what? If you don't use it, you can get four a year. If you don't use it, they can bank to the next year. So I could go on a vacation. And you could have eight. Mm. And then if you don't use those, you bank them. So then you get 12. I need to find a boyfriend. I know I say this all the time. I'm not a real one. I love when people's comments like, aren't they married? Shut up. Um, <laughs> just shut up, okay? Stop it. Okay? Can you play little games? It's called fantasy land. I think your next phase, oh, no. the kids are going to move out, yeah. and I think we're going to get into a new world, and you're going to... Re- I'm sorry. What is it? You're, it's going to be really fun. We're going to go out. We're going to go downtown. We're going to have drinks. We're going to be like busy. We're not going to be driving people, Ubering. We're going to be like the girls about town. Yeah, I think so. I think I think we're going to invest in some companies and get shares and like have to go like be we're going to go sh- like schmooze but not talk to people and then we're going to have to go and be like those those two. Just, here those two here they are. You know there's this one woman in Hollywood and they're like who's the richest woman in Hollywood and when you when you google her and you find out who she is you recognize her but she's not super famous and it's all because of companies that she's like invested yeah, yeah. in. Um so that's a good one. I like that. Yeah, we're just going to get we're not going to put money just shares. Oh yeah. You want to partner with us? Shares. Yeah, give us some shares. Not the brands. Companies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're just um, going to do this. We're just gonna, one more thing about that is... Um, we're going to be all about town. Boyfriend, all about town. Oh, and by then, there's going to be the magic potion of hangover remedy. Someone's holding on to that. Because I want to go crazy all night long. And I want to wake up and, and like be fresh as a daisy. So for me, I'm just looking to be able to drink more than two drinks. Yeah. So I need a stamina. Like a Viagra for alcohol. It's coming. Because you've had nights where it works. We just need to find, we need to, we need to do, journal it just what exactly happened. Okay. How much night you had, sleep you had the night before, what you ate that day, what cocktail you started with, okay. the speed at which you I drank I do it. know that it's early. I have to go, I have to start early. Mm. That's like, that's rule number one, start mm. early and then um, eat a little, like eat with dinner mm. and it's because you know I can drink. I prefer to not eat. Well, I can drink so fast. Yeah. I drink you. I mean, I out drink you sometimes. Yes. So we need to slow her down. I need a nipple. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna get or you a straw that is blocked. Okay, a blocked straw. Good one. Oh, your mouth is getting really strong. <laughs> and um, you know when that girl said she couldn't open her mouth? Yeah, I think blowjobs. Of course, I was gonna say, it, but I don't say. It. Um, and hangover remedy, a okay. real one, a real one. Okay, a real one. So then if I could get wasted every night you would do that not maybe every every night but like i thought you don't get hungover i um, don't really like i don't get hangover how other people get hungover but like i still would want to feel so fresh that i'm just like ready to do anything i think that's just you go to bed too late because when you drink you don't like to stop you're like my husband you could go to three in the morning i don't think that's an upper i don't know if you went to bed at 11, but you started drinking at 4, you would be fine the next day. No, no, I've done that. Oh, and you don't feel good? I don't know. Let's try again. I've ne- you've never been like, I don't feel good. I'll be like, oh. No, I know. No, I know. Are you just lying? No, no I'm not lying. I just, um, you know, I want, I want my, I want, I, I don't want the alcohol to you take want a to, toll. You want to thrive. I want to thrive. <laughs> I want to wake up thriving. I don't think that's the way we're going yeah. with alcohol. No, I mean, I'm not, that's not the way it's going. I don't care what they're doing. A- a- everything. Oh, we go like to the scientists. We go to this freaking party and we're like, that's. Oh, that was tricky. Delicious cocktail. Oh, it's a mocktail. What the fuck are you wasting my calories about? What the fuck? 
I'm looking for a hot guy and liquor. Do you have that? If I was thirsty, I would drink Diet Coke. Okay. okay. I want your cocktail because I want to get dipped. Um, if there's any sex trends happening, let us know. Sex I, trends. Yeah, there Ooh, is actually. What is it? It's polyamorous. It's huge. Again? Yeah, no, it's like becoming a common way of life. Okay, well, I will tell you that I just saw a clip this morning and the guy, there was three people on a podcast, okay? Two like haughty girls and a guy. And I don't know what it was, but the clip came up and he was like, he loves eating ass and it really turns him on. And then she was like, oh, and she's like, what if there are like a part poo particle? He's like, ah, if there's like flavor, it makes it better. And she's like, you're telling me, he's like, you're the one that stick, like, you know, give a blowjob. And she's like, oh yeah, I love like a dirty dick. Like after the gym and the other girl's like, yeah, me I told too. You. I told you this. And then she's like, yeah, I love BO. I wish I could bottle it. I told you this. Do you know how unrelatable that clip was to me? Because the men, it's what it, it's nature. But what were these girls want the smell of a stinky dick? It's They're not like, stinky. Oh, it's like the it's like it's like workout. It's not like they haven't washed their pl- junk in seven days. It's like they just worked out. It's like they, it's like fresh off the press, like fresh dick off the press, like fresh. Sounds like you know what that would be like. No, no, I just know I know this to be true. And she said, "I love the smell of bo." And so do so do guys sometimes. They love us. I love know us guys. Yeah, girls too. Don't get yeah, me wrong. It's attractive. But I found that all of those three gross. Okay, it was <laughs> not a great way to wake up. So you know what I immediately did? You Watch know what crime. My favorite show is Kids Say the Darndest Things. Quickly, immediately. <gasps> oh, switched. so after a bit of eating ass and blowjobs, I watched Kids Say the Darndest Things. <laughs> Goodbye, y'all.